Hey there, everybody. It's one. Of, it's one of the day of those coming today to talk, talk to all of the NBA GMs who are out there looking to get their grubby hands on some nice prospects. So what I'm trying to do in this video is something completely different than most people. I mean, most videos you'll watch will, you know, recommend you get like the basketball guy Fieri or a young Billy Ray Cyrus or, I mean, even a Greg Ostertag or, or I don't know, maybe a young Ken Griffey Jr. But what I'm looking to do is help you see those people that, you know, most people still haven't picked up on. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about some of these guys. Some of these guys are still putting up crazy numbers. But, you know, nobody's talking about them. It, it's those guys that you just don't expect, but then they pull through for you in the, in, the, in the fourth quarter. So, listen up. Let's get started. All right. For number 10, I want you to imagine that you're on, like, a Hornets or a Magic. You may as well sell the team and buy a new house in the Bahamas because you don't have anything going for you. But but look, if you, if you haven't given up, if you're one of those people that's still fighting, it's a dime a dozen as a GM to draft somebody like a LeBron James or even this guy in the crowd who's passing back with LeBron James and becoming an instant celebrity. I mean, you're just missing the point if you focus on those two. Look at, look at Baby Blue there on the right. Look at him. He's a total, he's a total pump-up guy. I mean, just imagine having one of those guys on your bench. You don't have to put him in. You stink already. Get this guy. Look at how excited he is. This man has essentially won the lottery just by being in the proximity of somebody who is in the spotlight. If that's not a guy you'd want on the NBA bench, then I'm sorry, you're in the wrong business. All right, number nine. Everybody in the NBA just seems to be going out west. Don't you want the OG Western migrant? I'm talking Fievel, your Oklahoma City Thunder who's lost KD. You're the Cleveland Cavaliers who lost LeBron. For heaven's sakes, you're probably the Bucks that are gonna lose Giannis. Just get Fievel Goes West. Just buy the rights to that movie because if you do, maybe your next star won't won't go out west. Just nip it in the bud. And anyways, Fievel Goes West is an absolute classic, so you can you could probably just show that at the games because it's more exciting than what you're putting on the court frankly. Number eight, this one's flying under everybody's radar. I'm talking to Disneyland Fast Pass, okay? I mean, I am just sick of being stuck in lines at Disneyland and having to eat some kid's candy in front of me without his parents seeing. Get the Fast Pass to Disneyland. This, this thing costs as much as a player would. You take this thing first round, no doubt. Fast Pass is coming straight out of college. You don't want to give this thing a max deal somewhere down the road. Now, number seven, picture this. The game's on the line. The other coach is drawing up a play. And what you can do in a home game is you can place where you want people to sit. Radio head. Just put the five of them right behind the other team. Tom York's entering the draft this year, I'm sure of it. He can do this every single home game. You think the other team's gonna be able to listen to the play? Come on. First rounder, no doubt. Number six, this is a guy that's flying under everybody's radars, Mr. GM, Rick Moranis. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Little Giants, Ghostbusters, Family Man, Honey, I Blew Up the Kids, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, Honey, I Can Play a Flex Five and Hit the Threes in the Fourth Quarter and Dunk. This is a great guy with a lot of upside. All right, coming in at number five, we're talking the entire Game of Thrones cast. You can get these guys on the cheap. They just finished the show. You think they have anything going for them? Absolutely not. So huge value for your money here. I'm talking you can get Voldemort, get a mountain. You can get the other chair. You can get, you can get Miss Trunchable. <coughs> you can get Scary Lady. You can get Peter Dunklage. You can get the cutie. You can even get the alleged incestors. All for a super low price of one second round draft pick. I'm telling you, please don't let the second round go by without getting these guys. Okay, number four. This is a perfect draft and trade. I'm talking bunions. Bunions are not something that you see coming. <coughs> At least I know I did. All you do is you draft the bunion. They're coming straight out of college. You sign them, you trade them to your arch nemesis under the guise that it's a player. That's a that's a team decimator, like like somebody else I'm thinking of, right? Easy second round choice. What I'm telling you is pick up wall hangings at your mother's house. Okay, I want you to imagine with me your coach. You know, as a GM, you're trying to set up a coach that understands inspirational things. So I'm telling you, you get those the very concept of those wall hangings. The coach is never going to run out of things to say. 
let me give you a couple examples. If you stumble, make it part of the dance. I'm not a bad mom. I'm not a good mom. I'm the mom I am, and I try very hard. And when I fail, that's okay. You are stronger than you think. Live simply. Laugh often. Love deeply, boys. Don't forget that. Difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. As time goes on, the handprints in the wall get higher, and one day they'll disappear. Dude, don't forget that, boys. Let's get them. Let's get them. Get out there. Get the wall hangings. Okay, number two. If you're one of those teams that absolutely cannot secure one of the previous picks that I've suggested, I would just get all the sperm banks. If you have any win that LeBron James has been to a sperm bank, draft that one. Because you can just create LeBron 2. If you stink, you're probably going to stink in 25 years, but you just incubate a little LeBron. Nobody has to know, and you didn't hear it from me. And what I'm telling you is, you're the Timberwolves, Jimmy Butler leaves, oh that's fine, just get his little swimmers, and you can make a new one. Oh, what was that Cleveland, LeBron left you twice? Just get his little whales, and you can make a new little LeBron in a few years. If you get those little sperm banks, you've essentially created your future. And number one, last but not least, a guy who has been flying under everybody's radars, but I really feel good about this one. Zion Williamson. So, you know, I don't know. I see this guy as a great first first man off the bench. Uh, I don't know, occasional water boy, but I, I give him five or six years in the NBA, but I, the only reason he makes this list is because he's severely underrated as a water boy. So, all right, as always, you know I'm here for you. Uh, for all your news, sports, and otherwise, stay here at Dando Star. And of course, uh, like and subscribe if you would like more of this content, because essentially, my happiness is tied to how much publicity I get, so just let that leave on your conscience for the rest of your life. Love you guys.